Okay, uh, Messianic Michael back here, and we're going to demonstrate how we make the uh, bait slugs or ice bullets uh, for the pneumatic bait cannon that launches uh, the baits up to 150 yards into the Gulf of Mexico. So we have uh, pieces of PVC that are cut from the same uh, pieces of the barrel. Uh, PVC can have some variations in the internal diameter, so cutting from the same piece of the barrel helps ensure that the uh, bait slugs are the right diameter. And for end caps, uh, we found these black vinyl ones work a little better because uh, they're a little softer and uh, you can take them off a little easier to push the ice bullet out. Uh, but we only have a half dozen of these, so we also uh, have some PVC end caps that we use as well. All right, so uh, we get a piece of uh, mullet, and fresh mullet would be better than frozen mullet, uh, but it's the winter time, so it's a little harder to cast net fresh mullet anytime you need them. Um, so we've got some frozen mullet, and we took it out about half an hour ago to begin to thaw, but we don't want it to thaw too much because then it, it runs a risk of getting uh, mushy uh, when it refreezes in the ice bullet. And this is an example of a uh, monofilament leader. It's 80 pound, and this is a, a size uh, 70 uh, Gamagatsu hook, which uh, fits nicely in the ice slug mold, and uh, also does a real good job uh, catching redfish. We have a real high uh, hookup rate uh, with these bullets, and then we have a, a four, uh, five, or six ounce sinker uh, that we put in line uh, in the leader and you're trying to pick the weight that's necessary to hold the bottom uh, based on expected uh, tidal conditions. So uh, some of these things are essential and some of them are refinements. Like one of the refinements is uh, lubricating the uh, bullet mold in a little Manhattan oil uh, before assembly and that both helps get it apart when it's time uh, to, to hook these up uh, to the fishing line for the bait cannon and get them out of the mold and uh, the hope is the expectation is is that uh, menhaden oil or pogey oil will also help uh, possibly attract uh, some fish and I'm putting on the, the gloves because uh, if you get that menhaden oil on your hands uh, the, the, the smell of the Manhattan oil is kind of hard to get off, so it's a suboptimal in lots of ways. So this is a, the first cut, is the, uh, the mullet head, which uh, we've caught a lot of redfish on mullet head. Uh, so with a bigger mullet head like this one, I like to hook it uh, kind of through, through one eye and out the mouth. And the weight goes down into the bottom of the mold and when we load that up we turn it around so that the weight is forward in the mold uh, so the projectile is flying with the weight forward and then you need to make sure that the snap swivel is hanging out because that's where you're gonna I'm sorry that's not the snap swivel that's just the swivel end of the leaders hanging out because that's where you're gonna attach the snap on the main line and then we've uh since the 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 water here uh doesn't smell that great so we're using bottled water uh to fill it up and to complete the rest of the slug uh so essentially uh this is one and it's ready for the freezer and now we just take due care uh to get it into the freezer uh, nice and level All right, so that's the gist uh, of it. So I'll go ahead and demonstrating, demonstrate making a couple more here. Um, and but these will go a little faster. I won't explain every little point. Uh, dip in the Manhattan oil. Get the end cap on. Uh, people like different sizes of, of cut mullet. Uh, we've learned over the years that. Uh, this size slice works pretty well. A lead weight, and this one looks like a, a six ounce lead weight, goes to the bottom. Make sure something is hanging out that you're going to attach your swivel to.
get the uh, line down in there. And this can be hanging out. The hook or, or different parts can be hanging out as long as it can kind of be compressed into that two inch diameter because this part's going to go in first because the lead's going to be at the front. Uh, it's going to be compressed into the bait cannon. And then fill up the extra room with water. And that'll be a nice uh, bait slug when it comes out of the freezer. All right, and so there can be small variations uh, on the theme, just depending. Uh, we're using cut mullet. Uh, if you have another fish available that you prefer uh, for bait, uh, cut ladyfish, cut pinfish, uh, whatever your favorite bait is. As long as it'll attach to a hook and, and, and uh, fit into the bait mold, is probably a pretty good candidate. Uh, so, lube it with the Manhaden oil. Hook up the bait slice. Sink her in. Make sure the part where you're going to attach the, uh, the main line is hanging out. We have to take some care with that in here in a minute when we put the piece of cut mullet in. Uh, and we haven't really noticed uh, any advantage or disadvantage to whether or not the shank of the hook goes up or the shank of the hook goes down. Um, really, as long as it fits into the uh, two inch diameter of the, uh, the bait cannon barrel, it works pretty well. Um, and you know, it's uh, some variations are possible here. I'm just squirting a little extra menhaden oil down there with the uh, piece of cut mullet, fill up the extra space with a little drinking water, and keep it level till it gets to uh, the freezer. All right, so. Another variation on the theme is the idea of using a steel leader rather than a nylon leader. And a lot of people prefer uh, steel leaders uh, when there's a little more uh, better chance of uh, getting into a little shark action. And our procedure is a little different with the steel leaders uh, because we don't really have a good way of attaching the sinker to this part of the uh, steel leader. Um, so there's a little variation on this theme. Uh, go ahead and cut the piece of mullet. Hook it up. Get a little wrap going on so the Leader will fit down into the ice slug. Uh, let's go ahead and let's put that hook down. But since this one is, we're thinking about sharks a little bit, we've got a little trimming uh, from pieces that we prefer not to eat uh, that we're going to put down in there. We're going to add a little chum to the ice slug because we're thinking more about sharks on this one than we are about redfish. So a little chum. Little menhaden oil. Couple wraps in the steel leader. Now, well, don't quite have the ergonomics that is part perfected yet. And then make sure that the this end is hanging out where we're going to connect our uh, yeah, those those chunks are a little too big. Get some smaller trimmings. And then fill up all the empty space with water. Make sure there's no air gaps, just move it around a little bit. All right, so this is the ice bullet with a steel leader more intended for 
uh, shark, although I'm sure these will end up catching plenty of redfish too. And then what we'll do is when we hook up the main line with a snap swivel, we'll connect a, a lead weight for five, six ounces, maybe three ounces if it's a really light tidal day uh, with the snap swivel right here. And then this in the version with the steel leader, uh, this ends up the front, so all this ends up in the back because you always want the, the lead part to to ride in front. So uh, the lead weights that just get, end up get, being pushed out by the uh, ice bullet and riding in front on the flight out into the Gulf of Mexico.